Thank you. Accidental overdose deaths are on the rise here in Connecticut. They're expected to outpace last year's deaths by more than 13 percent. Yeah, and COVID has not made the mounting challenges any easier. NBC Connecticut Siobhan McGurl has more on how recovery groups in eastern Connecticut are working to meet the needs. For me, it was really important just to stay in touch with my um, support network. You know, talk to, to my sober friends around me. As someone in active recovery, Mike Doyle says he understands how the pandemic is presenting new challenges for people struggling with addiction. People really need that, that personal touch. Doyle heads the Recovery Coach Program for Reliance Health in Norwich. Since the start of the pandemic, they've had 80 new people join. Pretty slammed, to be honest with you. We're at least trying to create some consistency in a big world of inconsistencies right now. Today, Doyle took part in a call hosted by Congressman Joe Courtney discussing the challenges different recovery groups in eastern Connecticut are facing during the pandemic. Isolation brings back triggers and can lead to setbacks in recovery, and we're seeing that now. Matt's mission, based in Griswold, is an organization named in honor of Matthew Barrett, who suffered a drug-related death 12 years ago. Connection and support are key, and with COVID, a lot of that has been reduced. During the pandemic, Matt's mission has teamed up with Griswold Pride to better track where overdoses are happening in the town. With that data, they were able to provide businesses in the area with naloxone, a life-saving drug, to help if an overdose happens nearby. Since we can't directly interact with the people, we're trying to put the resources in the community so they're there and available when needed. Meeting people where they are at, Doyle's team has been working to do the same, hosting outdoor recovery meetings. Now finding new ways to maintain face-to-face -face heading into the colder months. Maybe even doing something with portable heaters. The other option is to go back to the virtual meetings and just um, you know let people know, hey, they, these are available for you. We have more information on where to find treatment options at our website, NBCConnecticut.com. Siobhan McGurl, NBC Connecticut News.